Why would anyone want to fix a crummy toaster? This is an electronic smart toaster that costs about 10 times the price of an ordinary toaster. It's got motorised lift and lower functions, but one section is faulty. Let's see if we can fix it. There's special security screws here. You're best to trim a standard screwdriver. So this will allow you to get to the deeper security screws. Pull off your knobs. Look for where the controls connect to the main boards. Disconnect the control buttons. There are two sets of wires for a dual slice toaster. Remove the panel covering the controller relays. We want to test off the white wires. Remove the relay boards so you can remove the white wires. The spade connectors are locked on. A scalpel is used to release the spade lock. Be careful not to break the male part off because it could be painful. Once both sides of the white wires are removed, we can start testing. There will be two sets of white wires per side. Continuity tests show the right side is all good. The left side shows a break in the continuity. So from this we start looking for a break in the heating element. We can use the multimeter to trace for the break in the wire. $600 multimeters make nicer sounds. As you'll see the break in the element is at the side. This would not have been visible to a clothed or a naked eye. Undo the metal tabs so you can get to the break. Take apart the metal plates. Now's a good time to clean the toaster. After another 50 years of repairs, these tabs may snap off. Remove any circuitry that's in the way. Note that the wires have been spot welded. The welded wires prevent us from removing the heating plate completely. Undo cable ties to allow more access. The heating element wire is nichrome wire and is used because it has high resistance. The best way to join the wire is to use more nichrome wire. It's soldered using a phosphoric acid flux. Normal solder will melt. We may find some donor nichrome wire in this old toaster. Keep in mind that the wire diameter, etc. may be different to the toaster that you're fixing. Video your disassembly in case the, this fix fails and you want to put your toaster back together. This is the donor plate, which isn't the same size, so we'll have to take some of the wire off. The wire is surprisingly strong and does not break easily. We use artery forceps and tweezers. Loop the new wire around the mica plate. Feed the wire carefully around the existing element. We will rely on the donor wire folding onto the original element. This is because we cannot fit the spot welder in. We fold the donor wire a few times over the original wire. The internet shows you can join it with stainless steel wire. The stainless wire I tried went red hot and melted. The replacement nichrome wire should be able to withstand heat. The test, as you can see the donor wire has slightly more resistance. As the current travels the entire original element heats up. If you insert raisin bread, the currents are higher. This video left me with a warm glow. Thanks for watching.